Hey guys, uh, welcome to your December 2023 prediction reading for Sagittarius. Um, you could apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. Uh, we're just going to see, you know, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for December, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Sagittarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too, okay? So tell me about, um, tell me about Sagittarius for December 2023. Tell me about Sagittarius for December 2023. What's going on with Sagittarius? What's surrounding Sagittarius for December 2023 for Sagittarius? for Sagittarius. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here and Justice here. I, I, I feel like karma, karma could be balancing out. I feel like this is something that you've been actively, actively working on. It could be your karma, could be past life karma, could be generational and ancestral karma that's being balanced out here. So I feel like a lot of you guys have been working really hard on that. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You know, I, I I feel like this has been a really long journey, and I feel like this is a journey that you're really committed to, really committed to healing, really committed to releasing things that are no longer serving you anymore, okay? Uh, this could be people. This could be an energetic thing here. This could be past life stuff. This could be a, 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 anything that you're doing here. We have the devil, Capricorn energy, and judgment here. Yeah, I feel like the karmic scales are balancing out for you at this time. I do feel like you're going through like a huge spiritual transformation. Um, you know, it's almost like what a great ending to 2023. You know what I mean? Uh, because I feel like this has been an ongoing thing for quite a while here. You know, it's life. You know, we go through these ups and flows here. And I feel like you're definitely going through a period of, you know, great expansion. Okay. So we have the devil, Capricorn energy. Judgment, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords here. Knight of Swords, the world, yeah. So a top, a, a, a top karmic cycle is coming to an end here for you guys, okay? There is a new beginning that's happening here. So I feel like in 2024, maybe you've gotten the ball rolling on this. You know, maybe you guys have started, you know, a new job, started a new business. Maybe you guys have purchased a new home, maybe a new car, you know, whatever that might look like to you. Maybe you guys are going on vacation or something like that. Sort of like giving yourself a pat in the back here. Like you guys did really, really, really well. Uh, not just for December, for, for most of 2024 here, uh, Sagittarius. The Four of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, the Ten of Wands, and the Five of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys have released a lot of grief that you've been holding on to. Now, this is not just like... I, I, I feel like this is not, not just your grief, but I feel like it's your uh, parents' grief. If it's your siblings, it's your cousins, it's, it's your ancestors here. So a lot of energy has been moved here, okay? A lot of energy has been cleared out and things are looking great moving forward here. We also have a ton of pentacles here. So, you know, I do feel like abundance is flooding into your life. I do feel like you guys are experiencing a lot of just energetic wealth here okay just good energy what else do we have for, for sagittarius what else does sagittarius need to know look out for work on for december 2023 for sagittarius for sagittarius let's get one shuffle here sagittarius oops okay okay eight of cups and the seven of swords okay I, I'm almost getting an energy of like you holding yourself accountable for yourself here. Like I feel like you're not running away. You're not turning your back on things here. You're just really zeroed in on things that you need to focus and things that you need to work on here. So I do feel like for yourself, I do feel like you have completely changed, shifted your energy. Mindset has completely shifted here. And I just feel like you're getting into this like really just this better place here. Um, we have the Queen of Wands and the Eight of Wands here. Okay, so I feel like you're this King of Wands here. 
So one of the things I'm getting here is that you've kind of like gone through the spiritual transformation. And as you've gone through these changes, getting into this really good place, I do feel like there's someone here, someone that's stepping in to disrupt that. I mean, this could be someone from the plus that lied to you, someone here that walked away from you. Okay. Someone here that, you know, really betrayed you and kept you open as an option here or that they could have one towards another option and that option didn't work out, work out and now they're trying to come back, okay? Uh, we have the Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords here. So what we have is I feel like you broke free from fear, okay? I feel like you've overcame a lot of fear here. And I feel like, you know, I feel like you're taking destiny, taking control, or, or, or just putting that... Uh, that, gaining that control back into your life here, you know, not allowing other people to control, you know, how you live your life here, okay? And, and it could be this person that, you know, has viewed you that way, you know, easily controlled, easy, easily persuaded here, uh, easily manipulated, okay? Eight of Swords here and Temperance Sagittarius Energy, there you are again. So I feel like you guys are definitely finding a lot of balance here, okay? Uh, definitely in this, like, D definitely in this like light energy yeah definitely this light energy yeah queen of wands and the eight of wands here i do feel like we have some here that's stepping in uh for some sort of reconciliation here this could be a past romantic partner here yeah it just, just seems like someone here is coming with an offer someone here is coming in with some sort of apology here for lying to you for walking away from you uh for causing a lot of discord in your life here um, I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's definitely coming in with a lot of the same energy that they gave you in the past here. Yeah, I do feel like we have someone here that's definitely stepping in to communicate with you. Whoever this is, I do feel like this is an individual that's like still in love with you and they want to communicate that to you. I mean, that Queen of Swords is a representation of someone here wanting to get this, get things off their chest here. You know, whether someone here is coming in or not, I just feel like you just don't care about that. I feel like you're more care, you're, you're, you care more about, you know, the progress that you have made for yourself here, okay? Like, I just feel like just a huge amount of energy has been moved and there's just uh, been a huge shift or that there will be a huge shift that's happening here, okay? I'm just gonna pull a few more here. Yeah, we have someone here is definitely coming back. Knight of Wands here, Aries, Little Sagittarius energy. This is definitely a soulmate connection here. Yeah, I mean, I, and I feel like this was a, a connection that was very damaging. Uh, you know, someone here could have cheated on you. Someone here could have lied to you here. Um, but I feel like you, you've made so much progress to move on from this. Uh, maybe this triggered your healing journey here. But I feel like you made so much progress here. Uh, I just feel like you're foc focusing on that... Um, optimistic future that you're you're creating for yourself right now and not really turning your back yeah i just feel like you're protecting your energies from this person at this time and you're just doing a whole lot of releasing here you know one of the things i'm getting here is i feel like you guys might have turned to meditation here uh to just help you release all the stuff that you've been carrying around with you you know meditation is a great way to release things that are no longer serving you here and i feel like that's exactly what you are doing or that you will do or that you've done here sagittarius okay so sagittarius i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below like this video share this video subscribe hit the notification bell i'll speak to you guys in the next one thanks guys bye